Hey, what are you doing off by yourself, buddy? Hey, what you doing? We wanted Master Thunder Dragon to get well, so we planted a seedling from the Tree of Life, which bears a fruit that is said to cure any illness. Vroom. Oh, well that seems like our way then, now doesn't it? Ho ho! Hey everyone, welcome back to another Pal Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we traversed Laneiru Gorge and had a lot of fun. And we eventually re revived the Thunder Dragon through the power of the Time Shift Stones, only to find that he is dying even in the past. And the, the robots in this past state, they planted a, a seedling from the Tree of Life because they were worried about him. And the fruit of this tree is said to be able to cure any illness. They planted the seedling over there. <clears throat> but it just won't grow. <clears throat> I think this is the end for me. So, it grew a little bit. As we can see there, it grew. But it didn't grow up in time. So, let's go across this bridge and uh, see what we can do. We can see a goddess cube over there, so... We should at least get that. So, we have some waterfalls of sand here. I'm really surprised that this island didn't wash away. I guess it was... I guess you could say it was fate that this thing survived. So let's jump over here, jump up this. Now, before we... Well, let's blow the sand away. And we'll see that there's a time shift stone. But before we grab that, let's grab our beetle. And you want to shoot it up and through this cave... Take a right, and there are some rupees, like 35 or something, 37. So, that's cool. And there they are, and let's go and hit this and revive the area. Now, obviously, this tree is not going to be this big. Yep, there it is. Okay, it's, it's tiny. It looks like something from Pikmin. It's really cute. It's actually really colorful. That's pretty. That's really pretty. That's, and it's also cute. So it's like pretty and cute. It's like the best thing. Uh, before we talk to, to that guy, let's get this. I actually think that this is the last goddess cube in the game, I think. Yeah. This is the last goddess cube in the game. Whoop-dee-doo! Yay! Woohoo! We did it. That's cool. Also, there are a ton of ancient flowers here, so let's grab them. Now let's talk to this guy. Time traveling kind of eliminates the sense of urgency, I think. Master Thunder Dragon's condition has been bad for a long time, and the soil here is not suitable for growing trees. If only we had more time. Huh. I seem to recall Groose, a pal of mine, Mentioning that there's a spot where he is right now that would be suitable for growing a great tree. It would take a long time, but hey, we can time travel. Let's dig this up and take it to him. You got the life tree seed seedling. It's, it is a very young form of, an, of a legendary tree whose fruit is said to cure any illness. What are you doing with that seedling? Vroom. Master Thunder Dragon needs fruit from the tree of life to recover. Unless you mean to help our master, Vr uh, I do. Really? Vrim? Thank you, Zrit. Make sure you plant the seedling somewhere it will be sure to thrive. Foo weep. I fear growing the seedling to maturity in Laneiru province is impossible. Zrit. We're counting on you, Vweep. I got your back, and I got your master's back, too. Man, oh, that's painful for him. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, he gets to... S oh, man, he's looking over there, too. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, man, that's really sad. Look, he's looking at his dead master. That's so sad. Okay, that, that realization, no joke, kind of brought a little tear to my cheek, <laughs> to my eyes. That was That's really sad. He's looking over at his dead master. Poor guy. Man. Well, we're going to change the future by changing the past. Do-do-do! 
Yes, Link is the doctor. You can tell because of how many hearts he has. Now let's make this shot. Yeah! Oh man. Come on. Steady against my leg. Oh, I've made this shot before. I've seriously made this shot before. Okay, let's try it one more time. Oop. Okay, well that didn't work. Um, beetle? Yeah, let's grab our beetle. Just have him zoom over there, and will he be able to do it, or are we trapped here forever? Okay, he did it. Good, good, good job, little guy. Okay, now he's alive, and uh, he's dead, so let's go ahead and run over here. Now, again, I really wish that at the end of all this, we'd be able to hit one giant time shift stone, or do something that would be able to revive this area. It's just so sad to me that this entire area is just doomed to die. Let's go ahead and fly to the sky and go to the uh, sealed grounds. Beer back. Woohoo! Yeah! Hang 10! Bro! Here we are! And, <laughs> actually, this would have been the perfect place for them to put a fourth uh, imprisoned battle. But they didn't. And I kind of wish they did. That would have been really cool. But, maybe they pl had plans to. But, really, this is the perfect opportunity for them to throw one of those on us. We haven't had one in a long time. And, you know, the setting is actually perfect for it. We're trying to bring a dragon to life, and we're trying to restore life to something, and the imprisoned is there to stop us. Well, he's not trying to stop us, he's just trying to get back here for some reason. Oh, because, uh, oh, oh wow, because Zelda sealed herself away, he's trying to get to her to kill her, wow. Okay, that, that makes so much sense, why he's trying to march up here. Okay. Let's talk to Groose. Hey, Link. Now is that a, uh, uh, now that is a serious seedling. Why didn't you tell me that you had that thing on you? I'm no expert, but it seems like the perfect fit for this temple. If you plant it here, it'll sh it'll grow for sure. Only downside is it's gonna take basically forever for a seedling that big to grow into a full tree. Huh? Now we can plant it, but. He has a point. It would take hundreds, possibly thousands of years for a tree of life to grow. So, let's dig it up. Dig it. Dig it up. There you go. And get it back. You took back the, the life tree seedling. It would take too long to grow if you planted it here. Maybe you should find another place for it. Actually, no. We're going to put it here. Definitely. I mean, this is the perfect place. However... We're just not going to place it now. Do 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 do. Q episode name of the episode, yeah. <laughs> Man, Doctor Who's a good show. Okay, so back in the past, let's actually talk to Impa. Maybe she'll say something different. Impa, hey. Hmm? <laughs> See you later. No. What's up? Oh, it's a matter of no great concern. So she's thinking the same thing. Do you see that sunny patch of earth over there? I thought it might be nice to plant a tree of some sort there. I imagine it would please Zelda greatly to see a great tree welcoming her back when she wakes from her slumber. Sadly, it's a rare tree that grows strong for thousands of years on end. If only I could find a seedling of such of such a hardy specimen. Hmm. Let's do that. We have one of those. Let's plant it. 
And the jingle play is to say, you did a good job, you figured it out. So, there's a beautiful sapling in a beautiful place. Let's talk to Impa again. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll see it. Ah, you've planted a seedling. Oh, she did. Good. I sense great vitality in this sprout. With any luck, it shall grow into a stout tree that will live on for millennia. I love that. Millennia. That's so fun to say. Let's go back to the future. And let's see that seedling. This is really cool. We get to see thousands of years go by. It's too bad Impo didn't. There it is! Man, it's gorgeous. And it's already sprouted a, a fruit. Man, that's beautiful. Man, that seriously is. That really completes this area. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my word. Wow. This is the great Deku tree. This is... This is the great Deku tree. That's amazing. I never... It seriously is. Man, the connections of this game to future games are just astounding. Gruus. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a tree I could look at all day. It's like a, si a, symbol, f uh, a symbol for this temple. Or something. Every time I stare at it, my jaw starts hanging open. I get this weird, happy feeling. Question. Because we changed the past by planting a tree here, does Groose, has Groose always seen this tree? Does Groose, was this tree here when Groose came here for the first time? Was this tree here when we came, first came here? I don't know. I'd be interested to know. Let's roll into it and grab the fruit. You got the life tree fruit. Eating the succulent fruit of legend cures any illness. Take it to the Thunder Dragon, or you could take it to Skyloft and make a potion. No. Actually, this is... That's gorgeous. That fruit's gorgeous. It has the whole spectrum on it. Man. That's just beautiful. Okay, this game seriously just moved up in my rankings to be one of my favorite games ever. It already was, but it moved up even more. Let's go this way, because it's easier. I think it's... E actually, it's probably not easier, but... I don't know. Probably same amount of effort. <laughs> I I kind of my jaw twitched there, so I was just like have effort. Okay, let's talk to Gorko real quick. I came across an ancient volume in the course of my research. Want to know what it had to say? Uh, uh, sure. Arrow in repose. Ye who seeks to strike certain targets from afar, draw this shape so that it may be known. Well, that is what is written here. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, it just means that if you draw an arrow there, it'll... You'll give you arrows, so... Yeah, nothing cool, special. Okay. Let's go to the sky, and actually... Yeah. Let's do it. I decided... That... Um... We, we have heard many things about the Thunder Dragon giving us a great trial. Now, because of this, it only makes sense that he's going to give us a great trial when we, when we heal him. So, let's actually get that last goddess chest, which is... I'll place a beacon on it right now. Here. Let's go ahead and grab that, because I have a strong feeling that that is the last piece of heart in the game. Let's do that now. I will cut to that. Now, real quick, I'm going to tell you about a glitch I found. I think my first playthrough of this game. Um, you know, you know the portal that goes through the cloud, the uh, Thunderhead cloud barrier behind us. Well, I once went into that, but I went towards it at such an angle that it never caused me to go through it into the map transition. Instead, it got me stuck. Well, not stuck. It just made it so I was flying against the wall. I was I was clearly in the circle of light that is the portal, but it never actually took me to the map transition, so I was, like, behind it or something. I just want to share that with you, because <laughs> we don't have many more opportunities to do that. 
So yeah, I was I was touching, literally touching that light over there, that portal. It was really neat. So, uh last time the one we went to the the thing we went to was on the right. And this time I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. It's to the left, I think. So, let's go ahead and get it. I am 99.9% .9 certain that this is the last piece of heart. Let us see. Please be. And I rhymed. No! Not the last piece of heart, which makes me really angry. Not really angry, but really disappointed that we might have gotten the last piece of heart before we did this, so... I... Um, uh, maybe. Why did I say maybe? Because... Well, I'll tell you. You guys are not going to be happy about it. Well, it you guys will, are going to be neutral. I'm go not going to be happy about it. So, I will meet you back at Lanayru Gorge. And we will heal the Thunder Dragon. And brum brum, here we are. We're in Lanayru Gorge, and we can heal the Thunder Dragon. But first, let me explain something. Now, while I kind of spun this to be a very serious part of the game, it does have something that I consider one of the funniest parts in the game as well. So, I'm going to... I don't know, I... Okay, let me explain something. After we heal the dragon, I'm not going to be doing whatever he has for us, the challenge that he talked about, that we've heard about, until tomorrow. However, th this episode is not going to be done, so I'm kind of be going to be doing a mini outro, partially for myself, but partially because I want to explain something, and yeah, so we're going to do that. So, let's approach him, and... I'll show you the epiphany of Zelda logic, of Nintendo logic. So, notice we have no fruit on us right now. However, let's talk to him and give him the fruit that we've been magically carrying somehow. Oh, Link, hello there. Is there something you need? Yeah, um... I have this fruit on my keychain, and I just took it off the keychain, and here you go. Oh, oh, is that what I think it is? You brought that here for me, didn't you? Yep, here it is. Man, Link is strong. Whoa, down the hatch. Zinga ding ding. Dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you've done it, boy. I can feel the fruit's effect surging through me. It's exhilarating. I feel like a proper dragon once again. I kind of wish it played the romance theme, because that would perfectly fit this. But, alas, no. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Thanks to you, boy. This old dragon will keep on charging a while yet. Oh, get it? Because he's electric. I owe you a big thank you, so allow me to perform a, st a moving tr rendition of my part of the Song of the Hero. I should warn you, I've got a mean set of pipes and I know how to use them. This will clean out those ears, boy, so brace yourself. I'm braced. You learned part of the song of the hero. The last part. Link, I owe you my life. You have you have to let me repay you. Give me some some time to prepare and when you next return to visit me, I'll I believe you'll be mightily pleased. 
Well done, Master. You've successfully collected those three parts of the Song of the Hero. I recommend you return to the sky and meet with the great spy sky spirit, Levius, to complete the song. And actually, yes, we can do that right now. Okay, sorry, I got my, my stuff mixed up. So, and also, I got something mixed up as well. Um, I remembered while he was singing. Or just now. Um, the goddess cube that we got just now was the last one. I am... I'm pretty sure. I will check through the list between episodes. However, I am fairly certain that we have gotten them all. Woohoo! We did it! Yeah, yeah. But anyway, the last piece of heart is actually part of his challenge. So we will be doing that after we go to Levius. And after we go to Levius, that'll be the end of the episode. So next episode will be long. It will be extremely long. It could be, I don't know, it could possibly be 45 minutes, I think? Possibly. Maybe. So, let's go ahead and go to Levius. I will not cut, because... <sighs> I'm... We've come so far. And I, I think I'm just being a little bit emotional this episode for no reason. But we've come so far. I'm not going to cut. I want this journey... I guess, to be one that isn't just fast-forwarded. Things come too easily sometimes in LPs, and you don't get to appreciate them because the person who is editing the LP just cuts it. And I think that that can kind of ruin the experience. So I'm not going to cut. We're going to go to Levius without cutting. So... Without further, further ado, let's just do that. And besides, it'll only take like a minute anyway, so... Yeah. Now, to talk about that whole fruit thing, I find it, I don't know, a little bit symbolic. Just because it's fruit and it's kind of... I guess the message is kind of, with that tree is that good things take time. Which kind of fits into the whole thing I just talked about, about cutting. So good thing takes time, and I guess you could say bad times, bad things, I guess you could say bad things take a long time too, because, because, uh, Gurham's been waiting for eons, so, yeah, I, I guess that's the message. Anything, anything worthwhile, or anything, any big effort will take a long time, and it's more rewarding, so... I guess that's my message for you today. And let's go ahead and land on Levius. And talk to him. We've gotten all three parts, so I will be quiet. Unless he has text, then I will not. Bah ha ha. So you've learned all three parts of the song from the dragons, eh? You have done well, young one. True to my word, I will perform the last part of the song for you. You learn the final part of the song, The Hero? The song of the hero is now complete. 
Now that you know the song, I trust you know what to do with it. That old song opens a door to a great trial. Should you succeed in conquering the challenge awaiting you there, I am certain the path to the Triforce will be revealed to you. A report, Master. I have determined that there is a trial gate somewhere among these floating islands that can be opened by the Song of the Hero. I suggest you use your dowsing ability to locate it. Thanks, V. Um, not getting... Wait a minute. Okay, where we're facing. is Skyloft. Skyloft. Is the location of the last trial. So, next episode, we're actually not going to Skyloft. We're getting something to hopefully prepare us for the last trial. Something that the Thunder Dragon has await, uh, waiting for us. So, without further ado, I will see you guys next episode for another Pal Plays Scoured Sword, where we will go into the Laneru Desert and see what the Thunder Dragon has for us. I will see you guys then. This game's coming to a close.